This whole guy DIY technique has to do with replacing the flotation foam from the front of a canoe, or in this case, a Grumman sport boat. The boat was made in 77, so it's been almost 40 years. And this is what it looks like when at some point in its life, ants have taken over. So I pulled all kinds of loose honeycomb crap out of here. But when I flip it over, I can feel that this front end is really heavy. So I don't know if it's soaked with ant goo or if there's a big nest in there or exactly what it is. But my technique is going to be to just use one of these two saws. I'll start with this little guy. And I'm going to cut a chunk off here. And then after I have a piece cut off, I'm going to lay the white foam onto this pink foam and uh, basically trace it and then cut a chunk off. And I'll just keep building up the foam that I cut off with this pink stuff until it's uh, close to replacing it. When I cut the first chunk off, this is what I found. So apparently ant eggs and larvae are heavier than foam and uh, regular waterlogged foam, so I'll keep cutting. With the second cut, it seems that I got down to the bottom edge of the nest. And then this is the second piece I cut off. It's kind of heavy and it seems to have the ant larvae, eggs, and whatever other crap they have for a nest. This is what the piece looks like after my excavation. And the reason I didn't replace just the whole thing is the chunks of pink board that I have are not quite as big as this, so I would have had splices all over. So I think it's going to be easier to uh, just make up my patches and see what I can do here. So I cut out the two pieces. My goal here was not to do a precision job so much as a functional job. So set that one on. Set that one on. Seems to line up pretty well. So I'll duct tape that in place and then I'll flip it over and fill in that hole on the other side. Here's what the repair on the back looks like after my excavation. So I just put two pieces of that foam board in there. And uh, in the course of life, if you've ever asked yourself, self, what does a 40 year old ant nest smell like? In my opinion, it smells an awful lot like an old mouse nest. So it just smells like mouse urine. And this is what the two pieces of foam look like before installation. So when you're putting them in, you put this top one in first, and then you have to push it up against the top of the boat, and then you slide this bottom one in beneath it as a wedge, and it tightens everything up. In an effort to minimize the damage critters can do to it in the future and try to keep them out in the first place, I'm taking each half, and I'm going to bag it in two garbage bags, one coming on from each end, and then I'll duct tape the seam and at least give them something they have to fight through. If they eat plastic and like it, they can go make a nest and otherwise they may turn back. And this is what my two pieces bagged and duct taped look like before being reinstalled in the boat. So now I'll install them and take another picture. Just remember the top one goes in first and the bottom one goes beneath it as kind of a wedge. So this is the insertion process I have the top one tucked up in there. The bottom one is beneath it, ready to be pushed in and lock the whole thing into place. And there we go. Everything is tucked in and it's sitting just as it should, waiting for that aluminum plate to go on to close it in. If you have a sport boat and you're installing this aluminum bulkhead, I guess for lack of a better term, just be sure to put the top in first because there's a lip up here and the top has to be tucked in behind the lip as the bottom slides in. And now that metal piece is reinstalled, ready to be uh, bolted and nuts tightened back into place. And we'll consider the front end done. That's all for this old guy DIY technique.